Some say that deep within the screaming nightmare of the cosmic void, a creature of unknowable strength lurks, consumed with vengeance and a lust to conquer all of reality, harvesting every entity in existence for his own end. This creature, it is told, is greater than the cosmic gods, stronger than the exiled Okron, and seeks to become more than even the Moon Lord, for once it was one with the Lord of the Moon, a whole that sought dominion over all, until that was, it was casually abandoned, to suffer forevermore. But now its time has come, to reap the harvest of universal life, to rise over all others and become the mighty, cursed god it always desired to be, the one and only. Leg Lord. Gods had begun. Humanity had all players deep and challenging. Different is less likely to get me horribly. Torn asunder from the Moon Lord's own body and trapped within his infernal machine of mechanical monstrosities, the Lord's legs knew not of their own being, simply flesh as they were, to feed a greater construct. But surrounded by the rotting corpse of Yog sothoth the innate cosmic knowledge began to seep into the legs, giving them awareness, giving them knowledge, and eventually a purpose. For eons they waited, learning of their nature as the stars died around them, planets fell apart, and even the great machine was forgotten about. They learned that they were once part of a great cosmic entity, destined for so much more. So long passed that the great struggles of Terraria and the Moon Lord himself fell into legend, but eventually, by sheer power of will, the legs broke free from the prison. Weak and alone, the legs knew what must be done. They must grow swole and build an army of lesser legs to achieve their destiny. The vision was clear. Scour the universe and assimilate the legs of all living beings. Then may they all merge with the almighty Leg Lord and ascend to our higher plane of existence, where there were only legs. Long legs, short legs, hairy legs or smooth. Legs of all kinds who live together in harmony. A place where every day was leg day. Until that time though, there would be much adversity. And so to grow strong, the Leg Lord ran across the cosmic planes, circling the universe again and again until his calves resembled sculpted masterpieces. And a single kick could shatter galaxies. Only now did the Leg Lord step foot upon the first planet he desired to conquer, with each footfall causing rapturous earthquakes. Using the well learnt from the wisdom of Yog sothoth the Leg Lord ripped all living creatures of this world in half, discarding their torsos and bestowing their legs with minds of their own. This went on to happen across countless worlds, with each of them being shattered with a single stomp once the Lord was done with it. Across the stars the army grew, swarming across entire galaxies, assimilating all those they could while kicking all others to their graves. At last, the Leg Lord's plan was coming to fruition. Where the Moon Lord had ultimately failed in all of his schemes, those discarded parts of him would be ultimately victorious. In a final ceremony at the centre of an obliterated universe, the Leg Lord summoned all of their brethren where they would join unto him and kick a hole in the cosmos to facilitate their ascension. As the rift opened though, the spirit of the great champion of Terraria suddenly appeared, challenging the Leg Lord to a battle to see whose legs were ultimately- Oh come on now! What? A dead leg contest for the sake of all creation? That's what happens. Holy everyone! I know your stories can get pretty wild but that's just crazy. I thought it was one of my best to be fair. I think you've had enough. So what didn't you like? Seriously, a piss poor story about the moon log's legs. It's like you're just doing it for the moon now. Well... Oh, you're better than that. Can't I just have a bit of a laugh? I tell you what you can do. Go home, write some better stories. And stop using the champion to fix everything. No promises. you got a problem, mate. Thank you for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed this silly little April Fools episode. If you like the dodgy little lore teller skit at the end, be sure to let me know and I might do some more. Other than that, please like and subscribe if you want to support the channel and become a Patreon for as little as one dollar a month if you want to give that extra bit of support. Now remember to stay in, have a great day and I'll see you next time.